histograms show the spread or variation in data. And so it could be things like piston diameters, uh, the wait times at a fast food restaurant, or birth, bursting strength of bottles. And here you can see a histogram that shows the upper and the lower spec limit. These are kind of like the goal posts that you're trying to, to aim your process for with a bunch of capability metrics and things of that nature. And you can draw these charts in Excel. And there's a hard way and an easy way to do it. In Excel, if you have some data, the first thing you have to do is come in and go to add-ins and turn on the analysis tool pack. And then you have all this data, but you have to tell Excel what kind of bins or bars you want in there. So in this case, I might say I want to start at 170, and then I want to have um, this thing plus 20. And then I'm going to drag that down a little bit and see where we get to. That's probably too far. Let's go back to there. And so here you can see that I've got all my bins set up come in and do data analysis. Here I'm going to choose histogram. Then I have to tell it what my input range is. And I also have to tell it what my bin range is. And then I have to tell it that I want chart output. And I have to tell it where I want it put. And so in this case a new worksheet. If you click on OK, Excel will count the number of times and draw you a, a histogram. But then you have to kind of make the chart look a little better. And then you have to click on all of these things. And you have to know what to change to make the bars actually look like a histogram. And eventually you get a chart, but it still doesn't show control limits or capability. So that's kind of the hard way to do a histogram in Excel. Or you can download the QI macros. You just grab the data with your mouse, click on the pull down menu, and choose histogram with CP and CPK. These are capability metrics. Then you're going to specify the upper spec limit. In this case is 346 and the lower spec limit is 200. It'll ask you for the number of bars. And then you tell it the title. Bursting, strength of bottles, uh, strength, bottles. And I always find it's easier to enter these things as when you're in there. And so here you can see clearly we've gotten the mean, we have the spec limits, we have capability metrics, all kinds of min max, standard deviation, a bunch of things that you wouldn't normally have. And so it's pretty easy to draw these kinds of charts with the QI macros in Excel. And you can download a 30-day trial from qimacros.com slash free stuff.